morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, Lori Suter. Vivian. Hello, Adelaide, Australia, Cape Town, South Africa, Trinidad, Germany. Good morning. Shout out and share. Tulsa Blaze, Shell Rush. Good morning. Denmark, the nation showing strong this morning. Share, invite Facebook. You got to catch up. Hello, Pastor Christine. Good morning, Palm Beach Gardens, Connecticut, Townsville, Australia. Australia, connect with me through the Awakening House of Prayer in Perth. Looking to proliferate in Australia. Awakeninghouseofprayer.com slash Perth. Connect with us. Shout out and share. Cleveland, Ohio. Cape Town, Blaze. Angela Jennings, good morning. Beaumont, Texas. Hallelujah. Charlotte, Virginia, Wisconsin. Ocala, Florida. You need to come visit us at the Awakening House of Prayer. Dubai. Someone asked me, how do I come into ordination and training in the prophetic? You go through the school of the prophetic. You join the Ignite Network. We build relationship. Vivian, we miss you too. I was just talking to Tori yesterday. Good morning, Netherlands, Oklahoma City, Glasgow, UK, South Africa, Johannesburg. Good morning. Awakening House of Prayer. Oh, how I'd like to see one in Tampa. Mississippi revving up. Perth, Australia revving up. Atlanta revving up. South Florida revving up. Where will the next Awakening House of Prayer land? Greenville, North Carolina, good morning. Tampa. 
Tampa. I need your support. We can do one there, Tampa. I see people from Tampa saying, yes, Tampa, okay, connect with me. Let's do it. You know what would be a great ignition point for Tampa would be after the Ignite Conference. Awakening House of Prayer Tampa. We just need a once a month meeting starting place. Good morning, Pastor Mitch. Tampa's easy. You can drive to Tampa. Yeshua, let's get started. Abashi. Here we go. Brashtekete. Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, author of our devotional Mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still small voice of God. I'm the senior leader of the Awakening House of Prayer in South Florida, the mothership, the model for the other Ahops around the world. Today's devotion titled, You Were Made for Love. And here's what I heard the Lord say You were made for love. So love. You were created to love me. So love me. Refuse anything that hinders love. Reject any voice that distracts your heart from love. Drink in my love, which is better than wine. Receive the love I am pouring out on you and then pour it out on others. There is more than enough love to go around. Be liberal with your love. Be lavish with your love. Be extravagant with your love. And remember, it starts with me. You love us because we first loved you. Praise God. Amen, amen, amen. Today's scripture references Song of Songs 1 and 2, John chapter 13, verse 34, and 1 John chapter 4, verse 19. And the prayer starter, thank you for your love. Teach me how to love better, how to love you better, how to love myself better, how to love others better. I want to love the way you do. Help me to walk in love, speak the truth in love, and think loving thoughts. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Father, we thank you today that you are love. You are perfect love. Your perfect love cast out fear, cast out torment, cast out rejection, cast out doubt. When we meditate on your love, who you are, who you really are, we will be transformed into the image of love, into the image of Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit working on the inside of us, transforming us indeed from glory to glory. Father, we give you praise. We adore you this morning. There is no other God like you. I thank you, Lord, that you dwell on the inside of us. You did not leave us or forsake us. You did not leave us without a comforter. But when you ascended on high, Jesus, you sent another comforter counselor, another comforter, the Holy Spirit to live on the inside of us, to lead us and to guide us. God, we're so grateful for you. You are awesome. You are so powerful. You are magnanimous. You are an overwhelmingly good God. There's no one like you, no one to compare you to. There's no language to describe your holiness, your goodness, your perfection, your power, your might. We thank you, Lord, that you are for us. And if God is for us, who can be against us? You are awesome. You are mighty. You are holy. You are true. You are faithful. You are the miracle working God. God, the promise keeper. We thank you, Lord, that all of your promises are yes and amen. Even when we're not faithful, you are faithful. You are faithful and diligent to watch over your word to perform it. You never fail. Therefore, we will never fail in you. When we live and move and have our being in you, when we follow your leadership, we will never fail. You don't lead us into failure. You lead us into victory. You don't lead us into deception you lead us into truth. You don't lead us into sickness. You lead us into healing. You don't lead us into bondage. You lead us into deliverance. God, I thank you for your leadership. Lord, you are the greatest leader the world has ever known. There's no other leader like you. You don't have to read how to win friends and influence people. You are a friend to sinners. You are a friend to your children. We are friends of God. We thank you, Lord, that you are willing to count your 
yourself a friend to anybody who will turn from their wicked ways and run into your presence with repentance you are a friend you are the friend that sticks closer than a brother you are the leader that's greater than all well, Lord we thank you that you are our everything you are our savior you are our healer our deliverer our provider our standby our advocate our counselor our wisdom our grace you are our peace you are the Prince of Peace you are our everything God we draw everything we have and everything we are from you you are the author of our faith you are the finisher of our faith you are the Alpha you are the Omega you are the beginning you are the end you are our everything God our everything Thing. everything we have it depends on your goodness it depends on your grace apart from you we are nothing apart from you we can do nothing apart from you we don't have anything worthy God we thank you Lord that all of your promises are yes and amen that you have made a way for us to live with you forever that you have called us to come up higher that you have paved the way to an eternity with no more tears and no more pain and no more sickness no more sorrow you have set us up for eternal success it's not just about next Friday when payday comes it's not just about crossing the finish line of the next promotion it's not just about uh, that temporal victory even though we love those even though it's sweet even though the vindication feels good it's not about what happens in this realm ultimately there's a better promise there's a better way there's a better covenant there's a better portion it's called eternity with the living God forever and ever and ever and ever with the living God God give us today an understanding of the eternal and how everything we do in this life everything we think everything we move toward it matters every deed we do it counts it'll either be burned up in the fire as we walk through the pearly gates or it will accrue for us rewards in heaven that gain interest God help us to see how our words decree our destiny help us Lord to understand that the words of our mouth will be judged every idle word that man speaks will be will be judged in that day that by our words we are justified and by our words we are condemned Lord help us to win the war of words in the name of Jesus understanding that our decree determines our destiny come on our decree determines our destiny just like the spies who went into the promised land to see what was the condition to see what were the people like to see what the fruit was like and they came back and they admitted and they confessed it is indeed flow it is indeed flowing with milk and honey it is indeed a land that is prosperous and fruitful and here is the fruit of it oh I thank you Lord that when they went in they went in through obedience but Lord when they came out they came out in disobedience and in disbelief with a decree of death we are not able to defeat these enemies and they decreed their destiny in that moment and died in the promised land God would you help us today to stop decreeing death over our lives to stop Stop decreeing a, a sickness over our lives to stop decreeing that we are not able oh Jesus when it's not at all that we're not able so many times we're just not willing we're not willing to renew our mind with the Word of God that would release the faith to overcome everything that stands in the way we're not willing to spend the time in your presence to push out of us the fear that tries to stop us from entering into our promised land we're not willing to crucify the flesh and stop a Allowing the lustful desires of the carnal nature to lead us when your spirit is right there saying come 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 this way this is the way to life this is the way to destiny this is the way to prosperity this is the way to breakthrough and that nasty flesh there's no good thing in our flesh there's not one good thing in our flesh there's nothing good in our flesh God help us today to crucify our flesh that puts pressure on our tongue I want I think I feel give it to me now I want it now now I want I think I feel when in faith and patience we inherit the promises of God Lord help us today to stop decreeing death stop decreeing failure stop decreeing uh, lack stop decreeing poverty stop decreeing all these things that are leading us down the path of a demonic destiny the path to sickness and the path to failure the path to broken marriages the path to prodigal children the path to these things that we don't want to see in our heart of hearts but our tongue 
tongue is wicked. It is full of poison. It is set on the fire of hell. And no man can tame the tongue, but the Holy Ghost can. So Holy Ghost, would you please help us today to tame our tongue so we can refrain from decreeing death over our families, decreeing death over our finances, decreeing death over our minds, decreeing death over our generations, God, decreeing death over our destinies. God, help us, Lord, to flip the script with the words of our mouth. Help us, Lord, to write a new story with our tongue. We thank you, Lord, that our tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Our tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Lord, help us to write a new story. Help us to decree a new thing. Oh, I hear the Lord say, Behold, I do a new thing. I am ready and waiting. I am able and willing to do a new thing in your life, says God. A now thing in your life, says God. Just agree with me, says the Lord. Agree with my leadership. Agree with my plan, says God. Agree with the purposes that I've ordained for you. I have a future for you and a hope. And it's good, says God. So put your mouth in line with my mouth. Put your ear in line with my mouth. Put your spirit in line with my spirit and begin to understand and know what is my will for you says God not my broad will but my specific will because the Lord says now faith is and I want you to tap in to the sound of now and understand your Kairos moment understand your times understand your seasons and release the cry that brings down heaven release the cry that taps into my promises release the cry that causes a move of my spirit in your circumstances and the sound of now is the sound that I'm looking for now faith is says God now faith is now faith is now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen faith is the title deed to all of your promises faith is what signs the papers faith is what releases the angels It's that sound of faith It's that sound of now says the Lord so begin to release it through your mouth not just in the thoughts of your mind says the Lord it's good for you to think about now it's good for you to think about the Kairos it's good for you to think about my goodness but release it now from your mouth release the sound of now from your mouth release the cry like blind Bartimaeus when he knew that Jesus was walking by and he knew now is my time now is the moment of my visitation now is this issue going to come to a head now is my healing in my presence now is the one who can change my life walking by now and he cried out now he didn't wait till Jesus passed him by bless God he didn't wait till Jesus was five miles down the road and began to cry out hoping Jesus would hear him he didn't shut up when everybody around him said shut up man shut up shut up shut up oh but he cried all the more hallelujah faith is now release the sound of now says God I want to hear the sound of now coming from your spirit says God I want to hear the sound that penetrates heaven says God I want to hear the sound that penetrates the oppression the dark cloud hanging over you says the Lord you do your part says God and I will do my part I'll always do my part says the Lord your part is to release your faith your part is to step into the now stop wishing stop wishing stop wishing and start praying with the faith that demands a now answer and I myself will usher in that which I've promised you it's the only way it's the only way says the Lord it's the only way faith is the currency of the kingdom says God faith is the currency of the kingdom you can't buy a breakthrough faith is now now faith is the substance it's a substance beloved it's sticky hallelujah when you speak faith you draw to you other people who are full of faith who want what you carry your negativity draws around you negative Nancy's and Debbie Downers your negativity draws to you demon powers to enforce that which is coming out of your mouth I said angels are coming for your words demons are coming for your words who are you going to agree with faith or fear because fear is also now fear has torment 
Faith has peace. Who are you going to agree with? Faith is now and fear is now. Who are you going to agree with? What spirit are you going to move in? The spirit of faith or the spirit of fear? It's up to you to decide. But you will eat the good of it. Father, deliver us from all fear. Deliver us from all doubt. Deliver us from all torment. Deliver us from all unbelief. Deliver us from everything that hinders love, from everything that hinders the yes and amen promises. We find in your word 7,000 of them. God, deliver us from evil. Lord, we repent for every evil decree we spoke over ourselves. Abashi. Kumbra eshte, ye ke terabashto koto rabasha, ye rabeshte ke terabeshi. Oh, God, help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord, to break free from the evil decree. Katam brishti. To break free from the evil decree. Garabasha kata. To break free from the evil decree that we released over ourselves, God. Oh, we like to talk about how so many, oh, they're saying this about me. Oh, they're saying that about me. Oh, they're talking about Jesus. Help us, Lord. We talk more trash about ourselves than anybody else does. We tell ourselves why we can't, who we're not, when we go, why we shouldn't, oh, we could have, oh, we should have, oh, help me, Jesus. And we curse ourselves greater than anybody else around us ever could. Forgive us, Lord, for we don't know what we're doing. We need a greater revelation. We need a deeper understanding. We need to really get it today. God, help us to see the now. So many of you are stuck in the past. Faith is not past. Things do come to pass. The promises of God will come to pass. But they don't come to pass in your past, beloved. They don't come to pass in your past, beloved. They don't come to pass in your past. They come to pass in the now moment, in the Kairos time. Oh, Jesus, help us not miss the day of our visitation. Now is the day of salvation. Not yesterday, not tomorrow. Now. Walk in the fullness of your salvation, beloved. You are saved. You are sozo. The Greek word for salvation is sozo. It means you are saved. You are healed. You are delivered. Now is the day of your salvation. Why? Why? Why do we wait to cash in on the salvation benefits until the sweet by and by? Why do we wait to cash in on the deliverance, on the no more pain promise, on the healing issues? Why? Why? Why are we we satisfied and content to wait to the other side of glory when the glory is for now. Thank you, Lord. Help us, Lord, to release the sound of now. Abashi. Help us to release the sound of now. Help us to release the sound of now. A fervent. The effect of fervent prayer of the righteous person makes tremendous power available. Dynamic in its working. It's like dynamite. The now prayer, the fervent prayer, the effective prayer is like dynamite. It blows up the enemy's plans. It blows them to smithereens it blows them to bits oh God help us stop fortifying the enemy's stronghold with the decrees of our mouth and help us Lord to release the effect of fervent prayer of the righteous that makes tremendous power available dynamic in its working God would you help us Lord 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 to decree words that release dunamis power your word tells us that we have power over all the power of the enemy we have authority over all the power of the enemy we have dunamis over all the power of the enemy the power that comes from you the power that resides on the inside of us the power that raised Christ from the dead it's dynamite power it's dunamis power it's power that blows everything that stands in the way to bits but you've got to release it and the way you release it beloved is by the words of your mouth It's not through thinking oh me Think good thoughts, praise God. Think good thoughts, beloved, but decree a thing, ashakata, and it shall be established. The kingdom is voice activated. You can't think a thing and think it's going to come to pass. Your thoughts will change you, beloved, but your thoughts ain't going to change the things out in the realm of the atmosphere. Abashokotum brashtarababashi. 
KT, I am out of breath. I am praying hard. Somebody needs to agree with me, bless God. I'm breaking through. Help us, Lord. We break every evil decree in the name of Jesus, God. Set a guard over our mouth that we might not speak anything that grieves your spirit, that repels you, God, that causes you to say, oh. We want to release words that cause you to say yes and amen. Not words that grieve you. Not words that cause you to say, oh, beloved, you were so close to your breakthrough. But the evil decree you just spoke set you back from the now. There was a now time for you. It was appointed for you. Your now time could be later today. Your now time could be tomorrow. But there, there's a sound that releases the now. It's called the sound of now. It's called the cry like Bartimaeus. It's called understanding that you have authority. And whining doesn't repel the devil. Whining doesn't put you over the top. Whining and complaining does not get you where you want to go. The sound of now, now faith is. Decree. Decree. Your decree determines your destiny. Could watch this whole message from Sunday, ahop.online, about your decrees determining your destiny. A generation died in the wilderness because their decree was full of fear and unbelief and doubt. It was a bad report. Father, help us stop releasing bad reports. There is no bad reports from a good, good father. Every bad report is coming from the pit of hell. It's not coming from the good, good father. It's not coming from heaven. It's not coming from the throne room. It's not coming from this place of... Life, it's coming from a place of death and destruction. The enemy comes but for to kill, steal, and destroy. But I came that you might have life in abundance to the full till it overflows. God, help us, Lord, to get our decree in line with your decree. Help us, Lord, to get our decree in line with your decree. You've given us all things pertaining to godliness. You made us partakers of the divine nature. Therefore, we can decree divine decrees. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord, to press into this today. Help us, Lord, not to get a goosebump, say a hallelujah, and go back to the evil decrees we continually speak over our lives and over the lives of others that we know and that we don't know. God, would you help us? Help us, Lord. 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 Help us, Lord, help us, Lord, help us, Lord. Help us, Lord, help us, Lord, help us, Lord. Help us, Lord, help us, Lord, help us, Lord. Son of David, have mercy on us today, God. Have mercy on us, God. Son of David, have mercy on us. Oh, shorabaka tarabashte kete. Oh, you sent Jesus to die for us. What more would you not give to us? What more would you not do for us? You made the ultimate sacrifice. You are ready, willing, and able to give us so much more. And yet, Lord, we whine and we complain and we murmur and we grumble and we say, oh, I wish we could go back to Egypt. Lord, help us to, 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 to climb and maintain, to, to not just get into... Ah, shake it, take it. Help us not to just get out of Egypt and stay in the wilderness. Huh. Help us, Lord, not to just break out of Egypt, just to live in the wilderness. Let us have, huh. help us, Lord, to build the faith in our heart that not only delivers us out of, the, the, out of Pharaoh's grip, but into the promised land. Lord, we don't want to stay, in the, we don't want faith that just takes us to the wilderness. We want faith that takes us all the way to the promised land. That's what I'm trying to say. Does anybody understand what I'm saying? The Egyptians had enough faith to get them out of Pharaoh's grip. I mean, I'm sorry, the Israelites. Jesus, help me, Lord. I bind this confusion in Jesus' name. This is, something, this is something profound, and you need to get it. The Israelites had enough faith to escape Pharaoh's grip. But they did not have enough faith to enter into the promise. And I'm talking about the generation that originally came out of Egypt. It was their children who entered in to the promised land. They had enough faith 
to break out of the bondage of Pharaoh, but they didn't have enough faith to break into the promised land. So they walked in the wilderness for 40 years, but God was faithful. Their shoes, their clothes never wore out, and they had food to eat every day. They didn't labor or toil for any of it. It fell from the sky. They had manna for breakfast and quail for dinner every day, collecting the portion. They lived with just enough, but they weren't allowed to live in the more than enough. The manna, it would rot. They could only take enough for the day. Depended on God day to day. They didn't live in the more than enough. They, left, they lived in the just enough to get by. Their needs were met, but they didn't have an excess. God wants you to have your needs met, but he wants you to have an excess so that you can bless somebody else. Hear me. God wants your needs to be... Look, he wants you to have nice clothes. He doesn't... None of this bothers him. Nice clothes. He wants you to have a nice house, a nice car. David and Solomon weren't poor. Abraham wasn't poor. Job wasn't poor. Hallelujah. He wants you to have nice things. He doesn't mind you driving a nice car. He doesn't want you to just have enough for yourself. He wants you to have enough to give to somebody else. Ephesians says, if you don't work, you don't eat. That's what it says. If you don't work, you don't eat. That you should actually that's not Ephesians that's Proverbs but Ephesians says that, it, that, that, that you should work hard with your hands that you would not just have enough for your own needs but that you would have something to give to somebody else Paul said if you don't work you don't eat I bind this confusion in Jesus name the Bible says if you don't work you don't eat if you're lazy bones then you need to, you need to get hungry till that hungry drives out your laziness but Ephesians says you should work and labor with your hands so that you have not just enough for you, but something to give somebody else. That means you have what? More than enough. If you're not in a position in your life where you have enough for somebody else, that you can sow and bless somebody else, then you're not living in abundance. And you need to start decreeing abundance over your life and then stop negating your decrees. Stop being a spiritual yo-yo. One minute you're decreeing something, and the next minute you're decreeing something else. It's all based on circumstances rather than being based on faith. Hear me. A yo-yo goes up and down. You can do all kind of fancy tricks with a yo-yo, but ultimately it's not going anywhere but up and down. A roller coaster goes around and around, up and down. You can ride a roller coaster as many times as you want, and you have not gone anywhere. You need to stop allowing your emotional roller coasters to determine your destiny, to determine your forward trajectory, to determine how far you're going to go and how long you're going to stay. Today, I want you to release a seed that decrees for you. Let your seed carry a decree. Let your seed today decree that poverty is broken over your life. Let your seed today decree that sickness is no more in your household. Let your seed today decree that you are the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. Let your seed today decree that you are delivered. Let your seed today decree your future. Let your seed today and release it with the sound of now. Now faith is. Let your seed today do your talking for you. Do your declaration. So I want you to sow a seed today. I'm challenging you today to sow a seed and to make your decree with your seed. This is what I did when I was going to Nigeria. The tickets cost $5,000, beloved. And I had raised $4,000 for the tickets. And I had two days. And I said, Lord, I'm $1,000 short. He said, sow a $1,000 seed. I said, no, Lord, you don't understand. I said, I'm $1,000 short. He said, so $1,000 seed. I said, no, you're not, you're, not, you're not doing the math right, Lord. If I sow $1,000, i will be, I'll, I'll, I'll be down $2,000. I need $1,000. He said, so $1,000. Are you serious? Yes. So I sowed $1,000. And within the two days, I received $2,000. And I blessed somebody else. You can never sow a seed without receiving a harvest but it was a now harvest why because I, re I, I released a now seed with a now decree 
and it produced a now harvest. Are you hearing me? There was an immediate need to do the work of the Lord. Now, don't take this wrong. You can't say, well, bless God, I want a new Mercedes tomorrow, so I'm just going to decree a, a now seed, and I'm going to get my Mercedes in two days. It doesn't work that, day, that way. It has to do with a real need that the Lord wanted to meet because I was walking in his purposes. Look, if you're, if you're seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, Matthew 6 and 33 promises that everything else you need will be added to you. God does not want you to have problems not paying your mortgage, problems paying your car, there's somebody listening to me, you're just on the verge of repossession. And it ain't because you're lazy, it's because the, the devil has come to harass you. And maybe you didn't know how to fight back, or maybe you got blindsided, I don't know. But the Lord is faithful. Philippians 4 says, My God shall supply all of your needs according to your riches in glory. I want to challenge you today to sow a seed and release your decree with it, with now faith. And don't be canceling your harvest with the evil decrees of your mouth. Don't blame me if you're going to sow a seed, make a decree, and then go out later and say, I'm broke. Oh, God, I'm broke. Don't know how I'm going to pay my bills. Come on now. Don't do that, beloved. Stop canceling your decrees with declarations from hell. Come on, sow a seed today. I'm challenging you to sow a seed today and let your seed decree your future and let your, fu let, your, let your cry bring your future into the now. There is a time for you. Go to jenniferleclair.org slash give. jenniferleclair.org slash give. You can become a partner there. You can sow a one-time seed there. jenniferleclair.org. I worked up a sweat. jenniferleclair.org slash give. JenniferLeClaire.org slash give. You can become a partner there. Get the free partner resource every month. This month it's activating angels. You can use PayPal. PayPal.me slash JenniferLeClaire. Decree. Let your seed decree for you today. Lay a decree with your seed, what you're believing. But make the declaration. Don't just, listen to me, beloved. Don't just sow the seed. When you sow, make your decree as you sow. Say, I decree in the name of, whatever it is. Decree it in the name of Jesus. You can use the text to give, 754-701-2161. Text the word pray. You can use the Cash App, dollar sign Cash App. I mean, dollar sign Jennifer LeClaire. Yeah, don't say the dollar sign Cash App. They probably get enough of our money. Dollar sign Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the P.O. Box, P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. I want to pray over this. Father, I thank you for this, for the seeds and for these decrees. And I agree with the decrees that, that your people are releasing. The decrees that are in line with your heart and according to your will. I agree with these decrees. I decree that the decrees that are in line with your heart and your spirit shall come to pass. I decree that people's bodies will be healed. I decree that people's minds will be whole. I decree that people's deliverance will be complete. I decree that people's relationships will be restored. I decree that your perfect will will be done in their lives in Jesus' name. I ask you, Lord, to multiply this seed, not just through the manifestation of the decree, but through other needs that you're so good, you're a multitasking God, that you can bring multiple issues to pass. A, multi a multiplied harvest, whatever you want that to look like, Lord, we trust you for the timing of your blessings in Jesus name amen hallelujah God is good I lift up all my awakening blaze intercessors and prayer leaders I lift up all my ignite network members the churches and ministers that are aligned with ignite I lift them up to you in the name of Jesus I ask you to bless them my staff my volunteers my awakening house of prayer global family I bless them in the name of the Lord amen and amen. God is good. Hallelujah.
Praise God. Listen, today is the official book launch day. The book just became available. The Spiritual Warrior's Guide to Defeating Water Spirits. Go get your copy on Amazon. Blow it up today so this thing can hit the top of the charts. When it hits number one, it's not just, oh, I hit number one. That's not the purpose. The purpose is it ranks higher in Amazon and people find it. People who need to find it, find it. If you don't rank high in Amazon, people who need to find your book can't find it because it's like number three million. But when you get number one, there's people that get alerted of the number one books and they might not ever find out about your book unless it hits that top ten. Go pick up your copy, please. Amazon has a special on it right now for thirteen twenty nine. There's also an, a dollar off coupon on Amazon. It's a little, little orange thing. You can click a box to save an extra, actually it's 81 cents when you apply this coupon. So you can get this book for like $12. That's a steal because it's normally 17 is what Amazon sells it for. You can get it in hardback. You can get it in Kindle. Go buy it. Water spirits, this is a real issue. Most people aren't familiar with water spirits. They're in the Bible. They're in the Bible, the spiritual warrior's guide to defeating water spirits. There, there's all kinds of witchcraft, uh, demons that twist and suffocate and attack God's purposes for your life. Most people have never heard of these things. Apostle John Eckhart wrote the foreword to this book. He was one of the first ones I heard ever talk about water spirits. And he wrote the foreword and he said it was, you know, he gave it high praises. So go get your copy. Go to Amazon. You can get it on my website. And that's fine. That's good if that's what you want to do. But on Amazon, I'm wanting this to hit. Right now, it's number 15. And it just released about an hour ago. It's 6 a.m. It released 6 a.m. It's 6.39 a.m. right now. It is number 15. Go get your copy today. Support this. Get the word out. Help me get this truth into the hands. Look, it's not about the money. Believe me, you don't make a whole lot of money off books. Anybody that writes books knows that. You don't write, you don't write for the money. You write for the message out of obedience to the Lord. You make a little bit of money off book, but, but believe me, you, you know, unless you're Rick, Rick Warren or Joel Osteen or T.D. Jakes or Joyce Meyer, you're not making a whole lot of money off books. So I just want the message out. This is an important message. Spiritual Warriors Guided Defeating Water Spirits, Overcoming Demons That Twist, Suffocate, and Attack God's Purpose for Your Life. Go get this book today. Amen. Go get it today. God is good. Join our online campus, ahop.online. You can watch all my messages there. I'm going to be, I think, I believe, unless the Lord changes it, I'm going to uh, minister today or, or uh, on Sunday on the sound of now, releasing the sound of now, decreeing the sound of now, letting that uh, decree carry the sound of now. I'm talking about decrees this month. So go, it's, it's, there's no charge on it. Go to our uh, online campus, ahop.online. There's also an ahop uh, global family. Uh, where it's a f secret Facebook group. Um, but you're not going to get a whole lot out of that group if you're not part of the, uh, the online campus because you, you, you can't interact about something you haven't watched. Amen. It'll still bless you, but go sign up for that. Hallelujah. God is good. The Ignite Conference is, the Ascend Conference is in December in Tampa. Listen, if you're in Tampa, I'm really wanting to see a house of prayer raise up there, an awakening house of prayer. If you're interested in helping with that, let me know. I really want to launch that in January. I really do. But I won't do it without the right people in place. Just won't do it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to run myself ragged. There's got to be a passionate people there. In Atlanta, I'll be there tonight. Atlanta, I'll be in Atlanta tonight at AHOP Atlanta. And uh, we will be, I'll be doing a teaching on prayer. And also we will be praying and also praying for people. So come out. If you're in Atlanta, you can find the information on awakeninghouseofprayer.com slash Atlanta. And uh, you can get involved in that there as well. Register for the Ignite Conference at jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com, 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 jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. Go there. Is there anything else I need to share? Oh, the Babakatam Broshte Sheke Terebeshte on Saturday. I'm doing a leadership training. Leadership training on Saturday, breaking the leadership lid. You can watch that on ahop.tv. I'm sorry, no, it's on ahopu.org. I've got so many different, there's different platforms for different purposes. So ahopu.org is for education, ministry training, deliverance training, healing training. 
uh, AHOP TV is for conferences. Uh, so on uh, Saturday, we're going to be doing the Breaking the Leadership Lid. That's on AHOP U. If you're in South Florida, just come to AHOP. Python, uh, par- Prayers That Paralyze the Python Spirit. You can sign up for that. It's free. JenniferLeClaire.Eventbrite.com. The School of the Sears is on the 21st, 5 o'clock. I'm going to be talking about applying what you see in the Spirit. Last month, we talked about interpreting what you see in the Spirit. Once you've interpreted it, you have to apply it. If you don't apply what the Lord is showing you, then you may as well not have had the vision, not have had the dream, not, not have seen in the Spirit. Why? Because if you don't apply it, if you don't do anything with what God shows you, what's the point of knowing it? There's no point. So you must apply what you see in the Spirit. How do you do that? I'm going to teach you that on Sunday at 5 p.m. That's right, Benjamin Sleep. Hallelujah. He says, amen. That's right. And then next week, we have the Ignite Tier 3 call. It's extreme prophetic mentoring. Also, I have a webinar. And if you're on my email list, you received it. Um, If you're not, let me see if I can get you a tiny URL link real quick to where you can sign up for this. Seven ways the Holy Spirit speaks to you. Let me see. If I can create this for you really quick, if I can find a way to do that. Let's see. Let me see. That's not working. Let's see. It's a free webinar, Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks to You. That's not working either. Let me see. Nope. I'm not able to do that right now, but I will try to do that for tomorrow. If you're not on my mailing list, then you need to get on the mailing list because I sometimes forget to do all of these things. For you. Try one more time. Nope. It will not let me do it. So you'll have to uh, find it on Facebook. Or you'll have to sign up for my email list. I will put out an email again for that. Uh, But you can. It's free. Seven ways God speaks to you. I'm I'm convinced God's speaking way more than we're hearing. And I really believe that. You know, instead of creating a culture where everybody has to run to a prophet for a word constantly, uh, that uh, we need to uh, learn how to hear the voice of God for ourselves and the ways that he speaks. There's different ways. I'm going to share with you uh, scriptures and experiences, and this will be a free webinar. It's going to be, you need to sign up soon because it's going to be on October 24th, which is next, it's next Wednesday. It's just a week from now, so you're going to have to get on board with that if you're going to get on board with it going to have to get on board if you're going to get on board. I'm going to try one more time to do this. This tiny URL thing is just not wanting to work for me, and I'm not sure why. Let me see this. One more time. I'm going to try it one more time because I know some of you really want to get in on this. Okay. Let's see, because there's only so many slots, and once it fills up, you can't get in. That's the problem. And I'd like you guys to get in on it first. Nope, it just won't let me do it. So you're going to, wait, 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 wait. I think I got it. Yeah, okay, here it is. Listen, for all those who waited through all that rigmarole, tinyurl.com slash seven ways God speaks. You got it? I would really uh, suggest, thank you, Tanya Dennis, I would really suggest you get on my email list because uh, you'll get reminders and da-da-da-da-da. Most of you uh, don't stay to the end. If you do stay to the end, you'll hear it. Please get on my email list, jenniferleclair.org. This makes it a lot easier for me, but it is tinyurl.com slash sevenwaysgodspeaks tinyurl.com 
Seven Ways God Speaks, beloved. If you do sign up, you'll get a confirmation, so you won't have to, you won't have to wonder about it. You'll definitely know because you'll get reminders and everything like that. Tinyurl.com slash Seven Ways God Speaks. That is the one I just created for you. Is a free webinar. Listen, get involved in what blesses you. If it just, if it's not going to bless you, don't get involved in it. But I'm going to be talking about this. I think it's important. Hallelujah. Uh, also for the prayer, listen, the prayer school, my prayer mentoring this month, I'm going to be teaching on, on Thursday. I changed the date, Prophet Vanessa. On Thursday, I'm going to be teaching on uh, prayers that release power, increase, and favor. How to tap into prayers that will release power, increase, and favor. And I'm going to uh, be teaching on that. So when you sign up for the mentoring and prayer and intercession, you actually get the whole prayer vault. There's like 10 teachings in there. You can listen to them at your leisure as long as you're part of the program. You can go to schoolthespirit.tv. So I've given you way too much to chew on this morning. Some of your heads are probably spinning. I'll talk to you more tomorrow. I've got to go. Have a blessed day. Bless you.